Welcome back to another Apparition Net Studio video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the module debugger in Apparition Net Studio and what it does, how to use it. So this is actually a really, really useful tool in AppNet. So if you click load module list, it basically loads all of the XEX files that are running on your console. So that includes, you know, your dash launch plugins, like, you know, my stealth server, RPC plugins, that kind of stuff. It shows you all of those. Now, as well as showing you, there's a few other cool things you can do. You can unload a module. So if you have a certain XEX running, I could unload it and that would stop it from running. It would completely remove it. You can also inject a module. This is the big thing right here. So you can actually inject a plugin. Now, normally, um, if we wanted to say add a GTA 5 mod menu plugin, so I have one here, enforcer menu, normally what we would have to do is we would have to copy that over to the hard drive um, of the Xbox and then we'd have to edit our launch.ini for dash launch and add the path of the plugin into the plugins list in dash launch and then save it, drag the launch.ini back over and reboot the console so that the plugin can be loaded from dash launch. Now with this, you don't you can bypass all of that literally and you can just inject the plugin straight into memory. So you, you're literally not even have, you don't even have to reboot, you don't even have to copy the plugin over to the to the console. Uh, you can just inject it straight in, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first of all, as an example, you can see I'm on the dashboard here. I'm going to go ahead and launch GTA 5 just to show you that there is no like mod menu plugin currently running on here. So GTA 5 for some reason goes black screen for quite a while before it starts booting. Come on GTA, you can do it. Okay, so there we go, you can see it's booting up. Um, we're getting the Rockstar logos. Basically nothing happening right now. So normally I'm gonna be injecting the Enforcer menu. Normally with the Enforcer menu, there's a pop-up that comes up. It should have already come up by now if we had uh, the menu loaded, but we don't have the menu loaded. So as you can see, there is no uh, mod menu currently loaded. So back out to the dashboard. Now what I'm gonna do is open the module debugger, load module list and inject that mod menu. So GTA menu, GTA enforcer.xex. I'm gonna go ahead and inject that. And boom, that's it done. There it is, it's now loaded. And if I double click, you can see it's got the base address module size. So it is actually properly loaded on the console now. And if I go ahead and launch GTA 5 again, this time, because we have the plugin loaded, we should get a pop-up saying that the Enforcer menu, there we go, the Enforcer menu v2.3, and there you go. Oh, this is actually a cracked menu. I did not realize it was a cracked menu. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't have chosen this menu for the example, but um, yeah, as you can see, it has loaded. So, I mean, that kind of shows you right there that uh, it's so much more useful to use this. You don't have to, like if I wanted to load a different menu, if I was just trying out different menus and I'm like, hey, let's try the enforcer menu. Oh, this menu's cool, let's try a different menu. I don't have to keep rebooting the console and adding dash launch plugins for the different menus. I can literally just say, ah, I don't want this plug, I don't want this menu actually, I want a different one. So I can just unload module and then boom, it's gone. That's it removed from memory, it's not running anymore. And then I could inject a different mod menu and start GTA 5 again, and we'll have a different mod menu to try. So that is kind of like the cool thing about this. You don't have to keep adding dash launch plugins and rebooting. You can just inject them straight into memory. So very, very useful. Another cool thing you can do with this, there's a few different other like things you can do. One is you can dump the modules to uh, your computer. So say we want JRPC, I can just double click it, dump module to PC. Uh, yeah, let's just dump it in there and done. And if I open this folder, there it is, JRPC. So you can dump them to your computer. And then there's also the advanced view. So this view is more for people who are developing their own plugins. It's useful to have the module size and the base address of other plugins so that you can, you know, make sure that whatever plugin you're adding is not going to, you know, interfere with any other plugins that are running on the console. Um, and you can find, you know, how large those plugins are, how much space and memory they're taking up. 
So for developers, it's quite useful for them. But for everyone else, the basic view is fine because, you know, regular users are just going to be injecting plugins and, and unloading plugins. So yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. That is basically how you use the module debugger in Apparition Net Studio.